talk about being breakthrough minded. Okay, I want to talk about being breakthrough minded. And it's very important for us to develop a breakthrough mentality. Okay, because a lot of people, uh, e- even in the church, their minds are too small. Uh, even the, the B in breakthrough can't fit in their minds, much less the whole breakthrough. Okay, and so we're, I want to talk about this. To be breakthrough, my, breakthrough okay, the word breakthrough uh, means a sudden uh, uh, burst of God's power, a sudden explosion of God's goodness. Just like what you heard Brother Florence's uh, testimony, where, you know, he tried this, he tried that, he invested, he did all kinds of things, and they were not working. Finally, he decided, I'm going to trust God in all this. He prayed, and the devil still tried one more time. You know, so he approached that friend, and it, it was not God's move. And God said, you know what, either I do it my way, or you do it your way. Take your pick. You know, and just when it was within less than a week, before the deadline, there was a sudden explosion of God's goodness. You know, where uh, before that, he did not have the money to, to uh, redeem the house. And then within one move from God, the whole thing was paid for. You know, and on top of that, my dagdag pa. Diba? My dagdag pa. And then all the projects that started coming in. And that's only the beginning. That's only the beginning. Even the suspendido, you know. <laughs> It's going to change its name again, so it will become splendid once more, you know? And, and uh, that's, that's what breakthrough is. Breakthrough is usually sudden. It's not a slow, building up momentum kind of thing, you know? Well, yes, it is. God builds the momentum, but it's usually underground. And on the surface, you see nothing. It seems like God is not moving. That's the scary thing about when you let God move. Often, he works behind the scenes. He is moving. You know, it's like taking uh, an antibiotic. You know, you take the antibiotic, and it seems like on the surface, nothing's happening. You know, you take the second pill, ganun pa rin. You take the third, still that way. Take the fourth, still that way. No? And, but you know what? Even though you're not feeling any change in your physical situation, the pill is already working, right? It's already working. From the moment you swallow that pill, it starts to work. You just don't feel it. Well, same thing with God. You start to pray, and God's moving. From the moment you release your words of faith, God begins to move. Immediately, He begins to move. But oftentimes, there's still a lot of reconstruction, sometimes even destruction, That is required. Some wrong thinking that needs to come down. You know? And God needs to work on that because God can give us the breakthrough just like this. The problem is, can you sustain that breakthrough? Can you sustain that health once He heals you? See, there are certain habits that need to break. Otherwise, we find ourselves in the same problem all over again. See? If you have a problem, let's say, with gambling... And therefore, you're always getting into debt as a result of that. God now can pay off all those debts immediately. But what happens now if your mindset does not change? You know what you're going to do? Bring yourself back into the same trouble. Will God, set, will God deliver you again? Yes, He will. But do you know the kind of hassle and trouble and, and, and emotional turmoil you'll go through because you're back in debt all over again until such time that God delivers you all over again. But if He can change your mindset and give you a breakthrough mentality, you'll find yourself not going back into debt, instead going into abundance. That's what God wants. See, so many times from the time you pray, God begins to move. He's moving behind the scenes. He's rearranging. He's fixing fixing things, bringing things down, destroying things that are not godly in our lives, usually in our mind. Changing our wrong thinking. Changing, I like the words of uh, Joyce Meyer, stinking thinking. You know, he needs to change our stinking thinking and start making, uh, giving us godly thoughts, godly thoughts cognitive processes, a godly way of thinking so that we don't bring ourselves back into trouble. 
See? And, and, uh, 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 but God likes to give us breakthrough. But a breakthrough is not something that slowly builds up. See, God works behind the scene all this time, and then all of a sudden, on the day of your deliverance, He breaks through. He comes forth, and there's a sudden burst of light, a sudden burst of revelation, of power, of goodness, a sudden burst or a sudden explosion of uh, grace or favor. That's what um, a breakthrough is. So, you know what? Maybe right now you're going through a rough time, maybe financially, <clears throat> uh, physically, you know, in school, at work. Maybe the business is not going as well as, uh, as you're hoping or as it should be going. <clears throat> and all of that. But you know what? We need to have a breakthrough mentality. And what it says is a breakthrough mentality goes something like this. You can pray out to God and say, you know what, Lord, I can see what my circumstances are right now, and they are overwhelming. I feel like I'm drowning in it, and it seems like I'm losing hope. But you are the God of the breakthrough. You are my hope. You are my Noah's Ark that will keep me afloat. And I will choose to believe that you are still good. I will choose to believe that you will deliver me. And I will choose to believe that your grace, because of your grace, I may not deserve this, but your grace says, I'm going to get it anyway. See, that's a breakthrough mentality. Amen? And we choose to believe on God's favor. We choose God's favor over our pressing circumstances. Yes, our circumstances may seem so convincing. And sometimes our circumstances are shouting out loud, saying, you're not going to make it. You will die. You will go under. You will be bankrupt. You're going to lose everything. And it's shouting at you. You know, you've had this sickness all your life. God has never healed you yet. Why do you think? What makes you think He's going to heal you now? If He didn't heal you before, He's not going to heal you now. You know, the devil knows how to shout. The devil knows how to shout. See? That's why we fight Him back. We resist Him with our words. The Bible says that we resist Him and get the victory by the blood of the Lamb and the testimony of the saints. See, it's our testimony. We testify. What are we testifying? The Word of God. That's what we're testifying. So we say, yes, I can see it. I can see the house is going to be foreclosed. I can see how the bank's going to get it. I can see how, you know, I can... Uh, I heard what my doctor said. I know what the medical report says. I can see it. I can smell it. it. It's what I sleep with every night. But, see, now you begin. You turn that around with your words. But you see, it's hard to speak that way unless you think that way first. That's why it's important to develop a breakthrough mentality. We need to be breakthrough-minded. There's a story in the Bible in uh, First uh, Chronicles 14, where David found himself in a very difficult situation. The enemy came and uh, took, uh, ransacked his towns. And uh, what David, the, see, the first thing David did was he prayed. He prayed and he says, Lord, if I pursue, will you give them into my hand? And the Lord said, yes, I will. Go and pursue. And he went and he destroyed his enemy, took back all the spoils. And then, this is what happened. Let me, let me show you this verse. This is where it took place. In 1 Chronicles 14, 11, in the Amplified Version, it says, Then David said, this is after the victory, God has broken my enemies by my hand like the bursting forth of waters. Therefore, they call the name of that place Baal Perazim, which means Lord of breaking through. See, our God, He is the Lord of the breakthrough. Amen? See, the Lord of the breakthrough wants to come through in your life. He wants to be able to come forth. But look at what he says. He said here, like the bursting forth of waters. See, when you look at, we had Ondoy, right? But the reason why Ondoy was so destructive was because...